It's fundamentally a, a totalitarian state, a one-party state run by by uh, one family, the Castro family. They took power in 1959, and they had promised free elections within 18 months of taking power. They had promised an era of political and, and social and religious and economic freedom in Cuba. None of that happened. They never held elections within 18 months. That generated great resistance. So thousands of Cubans have been executed by this regime. Thousands more in prison. Thousands more have died at sea. Um, Cuba has gone from being a prosperous country that both exported food and fed itself to being a very poverty-stricken nation that must import donated food from the United States in order to survive. Uh, these individuals wrecked the Cuban economy in order to rule the Cuban people, generating a mass exodus has not yet stopped. And uh, in spite of all this, Cubans have not remembered, have not forgotten their, their homeland. And there is a very active civil movement inside Cuba and outside Cuba to bring about change in, in the island. On July 11th, in spite of the rigid police state Cuba is, with neighborhood watch committees and uh, state security and secret police, uh, you know, following and controlling the lives of Cubans, there was a massive uprising throughout the island, thousands of people and in over 40 cities in Cuba rebelled against the regime. The regime incarcerated hundreds of people, many youths, many women, and uh, that civic uprising continues. The organizers of this proposed march went through all legal means to try and obtain permission. They were denied. Cuba is not a free country. People can't say what they think. They can't publish. They can't write. They can't uh, go out and express themselves. Uh, there's no high part in Cuba. It's just repression. And uh, the regime has mobilized its paramilitary gangs um, and uh, police and military to control any expression of discontent. Young artists, young musicians have been very prominent in this movement. It's a very broad-based movement. It goes from, from urban, sophisticated, young intellectuals like the San Diego movement to farmers and workers. It's a very broad-based movement. But certainly, with, uh, with, as occurred in Central and Eastern Europe, these young creative people have been at the forefront of the movement, and they've been the bridge between the traditional opposition inside Cuba and new generations of Cubans who want change and are willing to go out into the streets of Congress.